So just realize that we have just two more methods to write, both for delete, delete one movie and delete all movies. And that's pretty much it. And after that, we can start working on to the router as well. I won't be doing that in this video. I want to keep videos uh, segregated so that you can just watch whatever you like exactly at that moment. And in case you would like, go ahead, do it before me. I know some of you thought that some of you would be saying, hey, go ahead and watch it in 2x. Surely you can do that. But what I expect you to pause the video here and try to write these method on your own at this point, especially. So let's go ahead and call this one as uh, delete one, uh, delete a movie. So <laughs> we are trying to keep them a little bit different uh, so that we have that. And again, capital D so that we can actually export them out. Let's borrow some of the method. Yes, we are going to save some time. It's not about uh, making videos which are too long to get more watch time. No, this is not the goal. So we're gonna go ahead and grab these headers as well. Uh, but be careful when you're grabbing the headers because in the case uh, of delete the task, you are not expecting a post method, you are expecting a delete method. In fact, in Marcus watched, you are not expecting a post method, you are expecting a put method to come in. Uh, because that's actually changing the values. So put method is great. In the create, yeah, having a post makes sense. So make sure you're careful when you're copying paste th pasting things. Sometimes they may lead to some kind of a tricky errors. Okay, moving on. Once we have this delete movie all set. Okay, so how we're gonna delete that? We obviously are gonna get value from params. How do we grab values from params? We know that we can do it via mux has a vars and we need a request. Okay, now the value, the unique is inside my ID, and I can go ahead and call this one, which says delete one movie only. What's that movie? That will come up from params ID. Once this is being deleted, this actually returns me a count, so I can go ahead and return that count, uh, but it's not going to return me, I guess. Uh, let's quickly check that again, delete uh, one movie. It doesn't return any count, it just prints it out. So yeah, probably we can use this methods printing variable. So we need to re return something up here uh, to get this one. So we're gonna say, hey, Jason, let's use a new encoder. You're gonna use my writer and go ahead and encode. What is the message that we want to send? We are gonna go ahead and say and send this params with the same ID uh, saying that, yeah, this is being deleted. Okay, so this is nice. Uh, let's go ahead and copy this entire method this time because we want to just write delete all movies, delete all movies, and this should be S. What did we call this one as? Delete, not this, get, delete all movie. Yeah, this is de delete all movies. Okay, so this is all good. This one is also going to be of type delete, just like we did it above. No, we didn't did it above. So delete, there we go. Okay, so how this one is going to work, this actually doesn't require you to pass on any params or anything. We just need to say that, hey, run this method, it's going to delete all of this. So we're gonna go ahead and say, hey, delete all movie, and that's it, it's going to delete. But we have crafted it in such a way that it returns me account. So we're gonna go ahead and say, hey, you return me account, and while encoding that, we are gonna go ahead and just say, hey, just return back this count. So I told you, it's really, really simple. I'm pretty sure you must be able to, you might be able to do that, not must. <laughs> you might be able to do that before me. Now again, there is no guarantee of these methods to run because there might be some bugs in that. And just like you know all, uh, bugs are an essential part of development. So we need to test out these methods, but we are gonna do that surely once we are done with the router. So let's go ahead, move on to the next video and quickly write our routers because that should be fairly simple. It's exactly same what we did in the last section. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next one.